Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation live in Studio B. I recently had a chance to sit down with the West Coast Conference men's golf champions from BYU, specifically head coach Bruce Brockbank and Max Brenchley, one of his stars, about the Cougars and their shot in the approaching regionals. Here's that combo. All right, gentlemen, you've got some fantastic mojo working, having won the Ping Cougar Classic and then rallying to win a dramatic West Coast Conference Championship. Now you get set for regionals. So this question is for both of you. Coach, I'll start with you. How would you explain the feeling and the momentum around BYU men's golf right now? Well, it's, it's surely exciting. Uh, the guys have been playing really well, uh, making a lot of birdies. We've had three or four, uh, well, two tournaments this fall or this spring, the guys have uh, really stepped up and just played some incredible golf. We shot 54 under par in Hawaii and then 40 at the Cougar, which kind of got the ball rolling. And uh, you could kind of see it, you know, with a long winter, the guys just come, you know, getting out on the green grass and, and working really hard. The momentum was there and, and uh, it was exciting to watch them kind of get rolling and, and um, play such great golf. I'm glad you brought up warm weather because that's certainly part of finally feeling a good vibe in this environment in Utah. Max, how would you explain the vibe and the culture around BYU men's golf at this moment? I think it's been awesome. Uh, you know, starting, you know, when we played in Hawaii, I think that was kind of like, for us, it unlocked a lot of potential for us. We're like, man, this is how good we can be, right? And so I think we had a couple of stretches where we played really good golf in the spring, but um, I think it's similar to last year where we kind of caught our stride, you know, right towards the postseason. And I think, you know, if you look at all the guys on the team that are going to be playing, you know, the, these next couple of weeks, it's everyone's playing some of their best golf. So I think overall we're all really excited. Um, there's a lot of good mojo coming in and a uh, lot of putts being made. So that's kind of what it comes down to. And I think that we're all seeing the ball go in the hole, which is the most important thing for us. And so keep that going into this next week. Well, speaking of putts being made, we have to address the 90-foot bomb on number 14 at the West Coast Conference Championships in Bremerton. When you hit that putt, at what point are you thinking, that might actually go in? Yeah, I think uh, you never really think a 90-footer is ever really going to go in <laughs> until it actually goes in. But I think halfway, it kind of went up over the hill, right? And then it kind of dropped down, and then it started breaking back, and probably 20 feet out, it was like, that's on a really good line. And then Todd, in the video, he's yelling, you know, do it to me, do it to me. I'm like, all right, if he's excited, I probably should be excited. And then, you know, went in pretty good speed. And it was it was at a very crucial point in the tournament for us. So, um, but yeah, it was it was pretty pretty special. Probably the longest putt I've made in competitive golf. So it's That cool was my it. next question. Is yeah. that the greatest putt you've ever made in competitive golf? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's up there. Top five for sure. Longest for sure. And then I guess under the circumstances, I mean, it was very timely. So it was, it was a fun one to make. For That's sure. wild. Yeah. Where are you when you find out that that putt was made? What's happening I was, in your I life? was a little late because I try to avoid the phone as much as possible. Um, but not only was that putt key to kind of get the ball rolling for the team, in our little comeback, but the eight footer that he made on the last hole, he knew that we, you know, we were tied or maybe one ahead. And Max, uh, you know, he called me off the, you know, up by the cart path and said, come and look at this. And as we walked down there, he was, hey, tell me where we're at, what's going on. I think he had a pretty good idea. And he says, what do you think this putt's going to do? And I said, well, Tyson Shelley was right here and the ball went a little bit left. And he goes, he looked at it and he goes, it's going to go a little left. And I said, yeah. And I just walked away. And when it was his turn to putt, he knocked it right in the middle of the hole. So that was <laughs> <laughs> that, that and a couple other putts were very key that he made coming in. Bruce Brockbank, the head coach of men's golf, and Max Brinsley, one of the stars with us on BYU Sports Nation. Coach, you were just named West Coast Conference Coach of the Year. You're not one to draw a lot of attention to yourself. In fact, I know it probably makes you feel a little <laughs> bit uncomfortable. <laughs> so naturally, we're going to ask you, how do you feel about being named Coach well, of the Year? Well, I'm going to answer it the way I've answered it uh, a few times in the last couple of weeks. Those honors come from great play, and that's what these guys have done. And, and having, you know, if, if not... Well, it's the best assistant coach in the country by far and Todd Miller. There's, there's a lot of great coaches out there, but we all know that uh, with his work and, and these guys, that's how you get those honors. So we'll go ahead and push it where <laughs> credit's due. Max, what's it like to play for Bruce Brockbank and Todd Miller? What made it so enticing for you who were a highly recruited guy and could have gone a lot of different places? Right. 
Um, I think just, you know, the support that they offer. You know, you always know that um, Coach Brockbank and Coach Miller are always going to have your back no matter what, right? You could be playing some of your worst golf and some of your best golf, and they treat you the exact same. And so I've always felt like, you know, coach, both coaches have always had my best interests in all things, you know, on the golf course, off the golf course, which, you know, bigger than golf, they're just amazing individuals who, you know, live amazing lives and you know are the people that I want to become when I'm you know a father and whatnot and so I think just golf course they're amazing influences and off the golf course as well so a lot of good things with coach golf. like it or not the, the spotlight's on you right now <laughs> there we go <laughs> well we you know we try to lead out a little bit but uh you know um like I said we've, we've got a great group and uh confidence is high and we're excited about uh, the next few weeks not to mention you're a guy that can show up 10 minutes before your tea time and still shoot a 67, right? Yeah, like, casually, just, just casually. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> there was a time where it was 67. <laughs> now it's probably 74. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll settle for the 74. <laughs> 10 minutes before you're still supposed modest. to tee off. Incredible. NCAA regionals approach at the Institute Golf Club in San Jose. Max, you mentioned this team, like last year, was kind of hitting your stride at the right time. What do you know about the course, and why do you like your chances at regionals? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting. This golf course is really exclusive. Not a lot of guys have played it. We're kind of trying to figure out details from, you know, all different people. And it's funny, like, Todd Miller grew up in Northern California. He's like, I've never even heard of it. So if Todd Miller hasn't heard of a golf course, right, it must be pretty exclusive. So um, looking at it, we've heard that it's long. A really long golf course. If they play it all the way back, it's 8,000 yards, which... Whoa! Yeah, to give you some perspective, like a 7,000 is probably your pretty typical, you know, in Utah. So long golf course, which I think benefits us as a team. Um, overall, I think we're really good at, you know, driving the ball, um, longer hitters for most of us. And so I think that plays to our advantage. And um, greens, I hear, are pretty fast and firm. And I think we're all really good putters as well. So I think those two aspects can be... Mm. Big advantages for us. Going Are you the game. longest hitter off the tee? On the team, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe Angus. Okay. Our, yeah, the South African might get me a little bit, but you know, there's there's a there's always debate out there for who <laughs> is the longest. But I can I can hit it with the best of them. Okay, so we'll we'll leave it at that for sure. Yeah, coach, you see 8,000 yards and fast greens, and and Max says it kind of shapes out nicely for our team. How do you feel about that statement? You know, it's uh, talking to the coach from San Jose State, a good friend of mine, John Kennedy. They only get out there one time a year, and he has a lot of friends, and so that tells you how exclusive it is. But he just said, hey, we're not going to play all 8,000 yards, but it's going to be everything you can handle, so be ready for it. It's going to be a great challenge for our guys. We're going to have to hit a lot of long and, you know, straight drives, and uh, we're going to have to figure out how to make a few putts as well. But it will be... You know, everything, like I mentioned, everything that we want. But, you know, what a great challenge and, and excited for that opportunity. You got your longtime rivals, Pepperdine, in the regional. Yes. And I know it mattered to a lot of the BYU guys, all of you guys, to get them in the West Coast Conference Championship, especially now you're going to the Big 12 and it's the end of an era. But they show back up in the regional. So how do you handle that dynamic? How, how is the relationship with Pepperdine as a rival in golf? You know, they're a great team. And Michael Beard does a great job and uh, you know we haven't um, beat them for a little while so to get them at the conference championship was great and uh, we know that we're gonna have to have our best stuff if we want to stay with them uh, next week at the Institute. How do you feel about the rivalry with Pepperdine Max? Like coach said right they're obviously you know a top team in the nation it's always nice to be able to go in and you know compete with them and in, in this last week it was fun to be able to beat them especially and so Obviously, I think that, you know, it was fun being able to play with them and being able to see, hey, these guys are the best in the country, you know, one of the best, but we're just as capable as, you know, playing, you know, when our good golf is with their good golf, we're just as, com we, we can compete with them at any given time. So, um, yeah, I think that's, that kind of sums it up for me is that they're good, but, you know, we're also really good as well. There you so. go. And you're rolling for yeah. sure. Uh, we'll finish with this. Obviously, the goal is to get through regionals, to play well enough, to get to nationals, and just give yourself a shot at that national championship and put together that, that special few days. So, Coach, uh, if you wouldn't mind, remind everyone what you have to do at regionals to get into a spot at nationals. There's six regionals around the country, two east, two central, two west. 
you've got 13 or 14 teams, depending on how many e uh, individuals are in each regional, and you gotta be the, one of the low five teams. And uh, if there's a tie for fifth, whether it's two, three, four teams, it'll be sudden death because there's only five moving on. And so that's what you've got to do. Um, every regional has great teams, and mm. to get one of those spots, you better play your best stuff. Max, do you feel like you're one of the 30 best teams in the country and belong at nationals? I definitely do. I definitely do. I think that, like I've said you know, at the start, that we're playing some of our best golf, and our best golf is just as good as anyone else's in the country. So we're excited to go out there and you know, compete and do all that we can to uh, you know, make that top 30 and be in Scottsdale. Let's go. Month, so it'll be great. I'm giving you BYU Sports Nation karma uh, in any way that I can to help you go out and perform. Okay, good Max, deal. you're already incredible. So you're gonna, maybe this will allow you to make another big putt. That's, I feel another 90-footer <laughs> coming this week. Yeah, I feel another 90-footer coming. <laughs> okay, you just make sure that you are Todd are filming while he does it, right? So we can have another squeal. Yeah, it's perfect. Specifically for it. Todd. Um, but we're super excited for you. Hopefully you have ideal weather conditions too. That's certainly a factor when you tee off, how the wind's blowing, how things are going. So this, the karma is for good weather and for a few extra made putts. Good. Thanks, gentlemen. Congratulations yeah. on everything. Look forward to watching you uh, at regionals. Thank you. Thank you.